Greetings from the Sydney Harbour Bridge Climb, and this is definitely going to be probably one of the highlights, if not the highlight of my entire trip down under. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is uh, its an iconic symbol of Australia. It's actually the international symbol of Australia, and it's the largest arch or largest span arch bridge in the world. So in about three hours, I'm going to be actually doing the bridge climb. And although I'd love to say that I could bring you along for me, they're very strict about not letting you take any anything up with you. Uh, you actually go through a metal detector before you begin to climb up. But uh, what I thought I would do is just share some of the experience with you, both in the preparation and, and I'm going to walk out to the bridge and show you the bridge, maybe walk the span of the bridge. And if I'm lucky, maybe I'll find somebody that can film me from the ground as I go up the bridge. We'll, uh, we'll see if that can happen. But anyway, it's going to be an unforgettable experience. On the uh, plaques behind me, there's different uh, photos of celebrities that have been here, like Oprah Winfrey and you know, Al Gore. Uh, but uh, anyway, I don't know if they're going to put my picture up with all those, uh, all those celebrities, but who knows, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get lucky. So anyway, let's, uh, let's explore the, the visitor center here of the bridge climb. I'll show you some of the wonderful souvenirs that you can pick up, and then we'll go outside and see if we can't find our way onto the bridge itself, or at least get close to it and give you a view of the bridge from, uh, from outside here. All right, let's go. Okay, you're looking at probably what is the nicest view of the bridge you're gonna see today, and that is a picture on the wall here in the lobby of the Bridge Climb Sydney. And if I zoom out, I'll, you'll get an idea as to the, the skyline and the magnificence of that, that bridge. And as I said earlier, it's the largest single span arch bridge in the world and the international symbol of Australia. So I find myself here in the reception area. And as I do, you can see there's various groups that are coming through on their way to doing the experience that I'm gonna be doing here in just a little while. And when you sign up for the bridge climb, they give you some options. You can uh, choose to do like an, an afternoon climb, you can do an express climb, you can do a, uh, an evening climb in the nighttime. And what most people will tell you to do is to do the, is to do the, uh, the twilight climb or the sunset climb, if you will. So that's what I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to be doing the twilight climb. And here is a cute teddy bear you can see that you can pick up as a souvenir. Should give you a nice view of that from my mom there. They put you in these suits that you can see that Teddy is dressed up in. So they'll put you in some suits and you'll, uh, you'll go up. Here are some nice panoramic pictures of the views that you'll see from both uh, outside the, the bridge and then also as well up on top. And then if I come back around over here I thought that I would share this with you. This is the uh, pillar that has some famous people in here. So there's uh, some figure skating champions, and there's the uh, Prince Henry of Wales. Jodie Foster is there. You can see Jodie Foster. So I should have my picture up there as well. And uh, quite a few people here. Jordan Sparks, a singer, and there's Will Ferrell, the actor. And there is a, uh, well, there's Bruce Springsteen right there. There's the boss and Bette Midler. And so you can see I'm definitely Sir Richard Branson. See, I'm going to be in some good company here. The uh, cost to do the bridge climb, I paid just over uh, 300 Australian dollars. There's the New York Police Department, Fire Department, New York, Oprah Winfrey, Jessica Watson, Al Gore. Terry Hatcher, there's Chris Isaac, a musician down there, come back across, and there's uh, Chris Muller, a hundred-year-old climber right there, Nicole Kidman, Will Smith, definitely. I don't know if there's room for Tom Hall on this, uh, this pillar, but maybe we can bump off uh, Robert De Niro and put me right down there. Let's go outside and take a look at the bridge. I have found my way up to the entrance of the Sydney Harbor Bridge here and you're looking at two of the four pylons, two on each side of the of the water that the bridge spans and uh, 
quite, uh, quite a sight to behold. You're looking at a picture from March 19th, 1932, the opening of the Sydney Harbor Bridge. And I found my way inside the Pier Lookout. And for all of $13, you can find your way up to the top viewing area and get a nice unobstructed view. These are the ceremonial scissors that were used to open the bridge back in 1932. We give you a nicer view right there. That's some good YouTube. And then they have some other information about evolving exhibitions and something called the giant coat hanger. So let's go up and see the view from the top of the pylon. You're looking at the center pin and it says that uh, this is the, it's an original half scale plywood model of the massive center pin that was used to fasten the two half arches together. I'm sure my brother in Wesley Chapel, Florida, who's a structural engineer would love seeing that. Here's some interesting information about the bridge, how much steel work has to be painted, 485,000 square meters, how high is the arch, 134 meters above sea level, why is the bridge painted gray, gray is the closest color to the natural color of steel. So it goes on and on telling you all the information. The pylon that I find myself at right now is 89 meters above sea level. How many people have climbed with bridge climb? One million on 14th of April 2003 have climbed the bridge. The bridge is 49 meters wide. The length of the arch span 503 meters. The bridge is made of 52,800 tons of steel, uh, granite and concrete. It took seven years, 356 days to make the bridge. Started in 1924, finished in 1932. So let's go outside and take a look. All right, there you go. There's a beautiful view of a group of climbers ascending the Sydney Harbor Bridge here, stopping to take in a spectacular view that I'll share with you as I zoom out. So I'm going to be finding my way up there here shortly. And I'm really looking forward to it. What a great thrill this is going to be. I'm going to... You're looking at the Opera House from the top of the pylon lookout here on the Sydney Harbor Bridge. And as I zoom out, I'll give you a better perspective of the view that is to be had when you do the bridge climb here. Actually, the uh, bridge climb give you a little bit of a higher perspective than where uh, I'm situated right now. Okay, it's almost time to do the big climb. You see, I got my ticket in my hand, and uh, how does the saying go? The uh, experience of a lifetime? So that's how it feels here. It's, I'm doing the 1545 climb, so we will actually be getting up on the bridge about 5 o'clock. I looked, and sunset today is at 5.30, so... Uh, Probably, I, I don't think we're going to see the sunset because it's been just misty and, and windy and cloudy all day. But as I was coming into the building, I was able to see some blue skies. So I've got my fingers crossed and I'm hoping and praying that we're going to have some nice blue sky with big puffy white clouds and a beautiful backdrop for some pictures. As you can see behind me, uh, some pictures of some other people that have also done the uh, trip here on the Harbor Bridge in Sydney. So I'm going to go into the locker room here. I'll be getting changed and uh, up on the bridge. This may be the last time I get to use the camera until I get back down, but uh, who knows? We'll see. I thought I'd take a moment and just share with you some of the pictures that they're flashing on the screen here as we get ready to go in and start our, our climb. They change the pictures about every 10 seconds or so. And uh, should be a nice, there's a nighttime climb, it looks like. Nice nighttime climb. So I'm hoping that I'm able to get a nice picture of myself on the Harbor Bridge climb here in Sydney. Sure would be, uh, sure would be nice to have this to uh, 
I guess post on Facebook, right? So we'll uh, we'll see. Okay, I think they're calling my ticket. That's us. Okay, there is the bridge that I'm going to be climbing. Welcome to the climb of your life. So that uh, video you're watching there is up on the wall of the area that I'm sitting outside of. And in just a moment, there's going to be a gentleman like that come out and welcome me into the changing room, taking my ticket. As you see, I'm taking those folks' ticket right there. you got to do your declaration forms, whatever that is. Are you ready to climb today? Oh, you got to do a breath test. I haven't had a drink in two months, so I'm not going to worry about that. Maybe I'll have bad breath, but I don't think that's going to be anything to worry about. Okay, look at this. This is great footage here to be able to share with you as I get ready to do this climb of my life. You gotta pick your jumpsuit. Oh, stop for the restroom. Did you go before you climbed? Now getting ready to climb. All right. Look at that. I don't think I'll need an extra large, but you never know. Okay, I brought my sneakers with me. And safely store your items. So they've got lockers for you to put your, your stuff in. Now, up on the screen as you wait to go in to change, they're showing you a video that uh, gives you some ideas to the preparation that goes into going on this bridge climb. They say that you can take your sunglasses, uh, you can take your um, prescription stuff, but other than that, you go through a you go through a metal detector to make sure that you're not taking up anything that you should take up. So, saying your climb leader is going to look after you. So this is actually some good footage to share with you because I can't take my camera along with me. But uh, here you can actually see the process. There's the bridge harness. Wonderful opportunity to, to show you how the preparation will be for myself as I go through the climb here. You can see them putting the harness on the individual. quite excited. It's not something that would be uh, for people with a fear of heights, that's for sure. Now they're going to show you the climb gear. Yeah, I don't think I could be doing a video during all of this, although I'd like to. Fantastic. This is going to be great ideas to what it's going to be like. Get your gloves. Bring your fleece with you. Simulator for the bridge climb. Oh, they actually have a simulator. Look at that. You go through all types of training. It's almost like NASA. You wear radios. So you got a radio mounted to you. So the leader that's taking you up through this, he's actually talking to you. Now you're ready for the climb of your life. Looks like you're getting into the shuttle or something like that. And there you go. All right, so this is what I'm going to be experiencing here in just uh, probably another 10 minutes. And there I am. Look at me. There I go, up to the top. All right. That's going to be nice. I wish I just had the blue sky from the top. All right. No, oh, I don't have anybody to hug when I'm up there. Todd, I wish you were here. <laughs> we could hug each other on top of the Harbor Bridge in Sydney. 
No, I'm just kidding, Todd. I'm, I'm not that way. And I know you're married anyway. There you go. Bridge climb for the climb of your life. All right, let's go. Okay, so the breathalyzer checked out. I'm all ready to go. <laughs> Experience of my life. And uh, this is probably the first, but I've never asked somebody if they could zip me up. You know, so the, uh, the zipper on this thing is in the back. And you can see uh, I'm all ready to go on the Sydney Harbor Bridge Climb. So I wish I could bring you along, but policies are what they are and just can't do that. But anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. All right. All right, so I am back, and the Sydney Harbor Bridge Climb was everything that I had hoped it would be. You can mark it off my bucket list. If you come to Sydney, it's definitely something that you want to do. Uh, the, the staff was fantastic, and start to finish, the, the whole experience was just one that I'll remember the rest of my life. Sorry I couldn't take you up on the bridge with me, but uh, hopefully one day you'll be able to come down here to Sydney and do the, do the climb yourself. So anyway, as they say in, uh, in, in Australia, at least I think they say it, good day from the uh, Sydney Harbor Bridge Climb.